Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So now I'm continuing the problems on uh, measures of central tendency. Already 11 problems I have completed till the last two video on different types of problems of calculating arithmetic mean, median, quartiles. In this video, I'm going to explain you apart from median and mean, I'm going to start mode also. So keep watching till the end. Don't skip in between. Don't join in between. If you want the complete command, watch the video from beginning, first video itself. So before starting, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep a hard copy ready. Without the problems, you cannot be able to understand the solutions. So take a screenshot of the solutions, then I'll explain all the points. Come, see the problem number 12. Find the missing frequency in the following distribution if n is equal to 100. n stands for the total of frequencies. Remember always, the total of frequency is n. So here n is 100 and the median is 30. Median is also given. We have to calculate the missing frequencies. Marks are given 0 to 10, 10 to 20 like the continuous series. Then number of students, frequency. 0 to 10, 10 students are there. 10 to 20, question mark, missing frequency for 10 to 20. Then 20 to 30, 25 frequency. 30 to 40, 30 frequency. 40 to 50, again question mark. That means missing frequency. Then last 50 to 60, 10. So two missing frequencies are there, question mark, question mark. That is for 10 to 20 and 40 to 50. We suppose the missing frequencies as P1 and P2. Anything you can suppose. I am taking it as P1 and P2 are the missing frequencies. That's what we have to calculate. The so finding missing frequencies marks 0 to 10, 10 to 20. All the marks are given in the problem. Frequencies, number of students. 10, P1, 25, 30, P2, 10. The total of the frequency is given in the problem as 100. So n is equal to 100. Now if we add up ourselves, so how much we are getting except P1 and P2? 10 plus 25 plus 30 plus 10, you will get 75. So 75 plus P1 plus P2. 75 plus P1 plus P2. This is the total of frequency. Now calculate the CF. Whenever we calculate median or quartiles, we require CF. We don't require mid values. Mid values we require for mean. Now, first frequency 10. 10 plus P1. 10 plus P1. 10 plus P1 plus 25. So 10 plus 25 is 35 plus P1. 35 plus 30 is 65. So 65 plus P1. Now 65 plus P1 plus P2. So 65 plus P1 plus P2. 65 plus 10. 75 plus P1 plus P2. The total of the frequency and the last CF both should be same. We got 75 plus P1 plus P2. Here also 75 plus P1 plus P2. That means our calculations are correct. Now, according to this 75 plus P1 plus P2 is equal to how much? 100. 100 is given in the problem. N is equal to 100. And when we calculate N, it is coming to 75 plus P1 plus P2. In other words, we can say 75 plus P1 plus P2 is equal to 100. So I'm writing 75 plus P1 plus P2 is equal to 100. Now keep P1 and P2 on LHS and take this 75 to RHS. So this plus 75 will become minus 75. So P1 plus P2 is equal to 25. One equation we got. The total of both the frequencies. The total of both the fre missing frequency, 25. Now median class is 30 to 40. It is not given in the problem. Then how do we know that median class is 30 to 40? Median is given 30. The median is given 30 in the problem. Since median is equal to 30. So that's why we can take median class is 30 to 40. <coughs> right? So median, formula for median is L plus N by 2 minus CF by F into I. 
Now we substitute the values. Median is given in the problem 30. Lower limit. What is the lower limit here? 30 plus n by 2. n by 2. n is already we are having 100. So 100 by 2 is 50. So n by 2 is 50. Minus CF. CF means cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. The median class is 30 to 40. So before 30 to 40, it is 20 to 30. So what is the CF value here? 35 plus P1. So CF value is 35 plus P1. F frequency of the median class. The so median class frequency is 30. Into 10. I is equal to 10. Width of the median class is 10. That's all. Now we simplify. 30 is equal to 30 plus 50. With minus you open the bracket. So minus into 35. Minus into 35 is minus 35. Minus into plus is minus. Minus into plus will become minus P1 into, into 10 divided by 30. Now 30 is equal to 30 plus 50 minus 35 will get 15. Minus P1 divided by 30 into 10. Now take this 30 from RHS to LHS. So this plus 30 will become minus 30. So 30 minus 30. This 30 I have taken it to the LHS is equal to 15 minus P divided by 30 into 10. This 0, this 0 will get cancelled, right? So 30 minus 30 is 0 is equal to 15 minus P divided by 3. Now I am making a cross multiplication. 0 into 3 is 0. 15 minus P1 into 1 is 15 minus P1. So 0 is equal to 15 minus P1. Take the minus P1 to LHS. So minus P1 will become plus P1 is equal to 15. So one missing frequency we got P1 is equal to 15. P1 is equal to 15. Substituting the value of P1 in equation. Equation already we have prepared P1 plus P2 is equal to 25. So in this equation P1 we already we got 15. So P1 15 plus P2 is equal to 25. Keep P2 on LHS and take this 15 to RHS. So 15 plus 15 will become minus 15. 25 minus 15, 10. The P2 is equal to 10. The missing frequency is R. P1 is equal to 15 and P2 is equal to 10. That's all. That's what we have calculated. So this is the end of problem number 12. Now see the 13th problem. Calculate the average marks of students from the following data. Average means it is not specified which average. So many averages are there. The most popularly used average is arithmetic mean. So when the problem is not specified, simply it is asking you average. Always go for arithmetic mean. Now here also we have to find out arithmetic mean. Calculate the average mark of the students for the following data. Marks below 10, below 20, below 30. Previous video I have explained you it is cumulative. We have to convert the cumulative frequency into normal frequency. Below 10, below 10 means 0 to 10. But below 20 means 0 to 20. Below 30 means 0 to 30. We don't require 0 to 20, 0 to 30. We require 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40. So we have to convert this cumulative into normal frequency. And then we have to calculate the mean value. Right? So here. Calculation of arithmetic mean. Marks below 10, below 20, below 30, below 40 like that. This is what given in the problem. Now we are converting 0 to 10. Then below 20 we don't require. We require 10 to 20. Below 30 we don't require. 20 to 30, 30 to 40 like that. We have converted. Now frequency we have to change. How to change the frequency? First below 10. Below 10 the frequency number of students are 15. Below 10 means 0 to 10. For 0 to 10, frequency is 15. That is given in the problem. Second, below 20 is given. Below 20, frequency is 35. But we, do, we don't require 0 to 20. We require 10 to 20. So subtract 35 minus 15. So 35 minus 15, you'll get 20. Here I have written 20. Next one is 60 minus 35. You go on subtracting. 60 minus 35, 25. Then 84 minus 60, you'll get 24. I have taken 24. Then 
96 minus 84 12 here I have taken 12 then after 96 127 127 minus 96 you will get 31 next one 198 minus 127 you will get 71 last one 250 minus 198 you will get 52 now the total the total of frequency if you add you will get 250 that's what given in the problem also 250 last cf the total of now for calculating arithmetic mean we require the mid values we don't require cf we require the mid values mid values how to calculate 0 plus 10 divided by 2 is 5 10 plus 20 divided by 2 15 20 plus 30 divided by 2 25 like that mid values now multiply f into m fm 15 into 5 75 20 into 15 300 25 25 625 fm take the total of fm 12600 is the total of fm now the formula for arithmetic mean is summation fm by n already we have done in the previous videos then summation fm 12600 divided by 250 you will get 50.4 so arithmetic mean average is 50.4 that's it the only thing you have to remember how to convert this cumulative into normal by subtracting next 14th problem calculate the mode for the following data. now first time we have completed the problems on arithmetic mean we have completed the problems on median quartiles now we are going to do the problems on mode so according to definition meaning the mode is that value which occurs most in a given series that means a value which is occurring more number of times in a series that is called mode so here first problem calculate mode from the following data roll number 1 2 3 4 up to 10 then marks are given we are not concerned with roll numbers we want to find out what is the mode of marks mode of marks so simply you observe 43 48 65 56 31 60 37 48 62 78 individual marks are given it is an individual series we don't have any frequency only individual marks are listed so mode can be ascertained only by inspection only by observation we can find out the mode no need to apply any formula no technique simply you see which which item which mark is occurring most so if you closely inspect if you closely watch one value is there which is repeating all other values are occurring only once only once 48 if you see the problem 48 marks occur two times Whereas all other marks occur only once. That means the mode is 48 in this problem. That's it. So mode is that value which occurs most in a given series. By inspection we can see that the marks 48 is occurring two times. Whereas all other marks occurs only once. Hence mode is 45. That's all. So in this video, I have completed three problems that is 12th, 13th and 14th. Inshallah, we will continue the next problem in the next video.